this video, uh, the caption, I haven't actually seen this video. I'm watching it live uh, first time with you guys, right? It says, see how this brave generation stands up to the Khomeini generation. They are courageous and truthful, and they will overcome and expel this regime and Khomeini's generation who flees the truth and promotes fear and, and chains. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's see. So I think like this is a hijabi, like a very hijabi, like a chadari woman. A chadari woman in Iran is somebody who's more religious and it seems like this chadari woman was taking pictures of these girls protesting. I'm assuming this is what happened. Let's see. If, and the girls are now retaliating by recording her back. So let's see what they say. So they're asking the chadari woman, like, why are you taking pictures of us? Excuse me, what are you taking pictures of? Look, they surrounded her. Oh my god, she got surrounded from the other side as well. <laughs> Wait, uh, the, the girls are asking her, what are you afraid of? Like, what are you afraid of? Why did you record the students? Okay, so the hijabi woman says, I know why I'm recording. So like, basically, it's my own, it's my business. You're, they're, she's saying to the girls, you're not allowed. Oh my God. Um, so the translation is kind of wrong. So the girl is saying, um, the, the, the translation says, you expect all of us to wear this long black chador. But she's saying kafanimish, which means a black, you know what they what dead people. So in Islam, people are not put in coffins when they die. They they are put in like a white cloth. Yeah. So she's referring to what she's wearing. It was called a kafan. So she's like, should we wear a black kafan like you are like uh, yeah, like you are <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually a funnier comeback than, than yeah. what they have. <laughs> <laughs> like do you expect us all to basically wear this like Disgusting thing, like you are. <laughs> so if we don't wear it, oh, so if we don't wear it, um, men are gonna be aroused. <laughs> Would Islam be jeopardized if we're not wearing what you're wearing? <laughs> that's, that's good. That's it's really good. <laughs> oh, that's, I, I, this, I haven't seen this video. This is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, like it's good that you have no answer but you're following. you have no answer but you're just following us so she's now retreating but she was following them before they took out their own cameras um, she was following them and recording them now she's retreat retreating because they are recording her back and if and if the if if the the two younger women that were were surrounding her earlier if that's um uh if that's indicative of what the person is wearing that's filming this like it's not as if they're like not you know uh, uh in hijab it's, it's not as if they're not covered you know yes a little bit of their hair was showing but like it's not like they're you know just just naked in the street or anything right so yeah yeah no it's, it's just it's, like yeah it's it's okay yeah I yeah yeah a shroud yeah sure mm -hmm. yeah it's just they they're they're pretty well covered according to people's other people's standards yeah but for her standards they're they might as well be naked well yeah. sure i mean i don't know man but uh whew, have you uh have you seen that that spot on a woman like just below the elbow <laughs> it, it hey don't me, tell man. me that I, <laughs> I might i might actually get me so don't use me as a don't use me as a measure <laughs> <laughs> you might you're joking but i <laughs> just that man you would you would be you would be surprised the amount of uh let's say adult categories related to this type of clothing that that have been growing in the <laughs> recent yeah, yeah. Okay. So you could hear in the background, there's another people are chanting. So this is in the middle of protests. 
there's some girl school girls shouting tube top tube tank fish fish uh, which is like gunpowder tank or whatever mullahs have to get the hell out so yeah so now hijabi is saying you don't need to record me you, know, you recorded us i will do the same you, know, you recorded my friends she said i didn't I, she said like oh she said i didn't record you she said you recorded my friends not me oh, okay. like it doesn't make it she says it doesn't make a difference whether you recorded me or my friends <laughs> like the hijabi woman is saying what's your goal okay so you can see this is an this outfit here right if if you're in iran this is considered um a liberal hijab mm. right you can tell like this is a woman that is trying to like that is obeying the laws as minimally as possible <laughs> right so and could like for example masa amini was arrested um, for improper hijab and she had more hijab than this yeah. one right for example yeah. the reason why you can see that she has less hijab is like you can see her legs mm -hmm. right you can see the, the her the what you're wearing is supposed to cover you, can, you shouldn't be able to see the shape of the legs right you can see like for example hair showing this is arrest worthy and um, you know based on iranian law right <laughs> Like what's your so what is your goal like why are you recording and like so she's the hijabi like what about you what's your goal and she's saying she has an answer she's ready with answers mm -hmm. the the girl is saying we want justice for 15 no this translation is wrong oh no no it's correct it's correct 1500 death in the bloody november and the ps752 flight that was shot by rgc twice mm -hmm. so you know in the in aban protest was like november protest in iran um i think two years ago was it two years ago or three years ago three years ago uh where 1500 iranian protesters were shot dead so she's saying we want justice for that and also the plane that the irgc shot down with two missiles a civilian uh plane passenger plane that was shut down by two missiles yeah mm. she's that's what she has answers ready yeah also justice for mahsa amini and hadith najafi and nika uh wait shall shalom shall 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 rami shall rami and hamid i wish i had the persian version it's easier to me for me to read the persian mm -hmm. version and hamid esmailion um i have the this nika story and i'm going to share that story about what happened mm -hmm. to her these are a lot of uh, women and other and men who died uh, victims of the protest uh, of the regime who were, who were killed actually i mean hamid ismaili i think is the father of one of the of uh, the victims of the flight but yeah so that's what we're for we're here for justice what are you here for Right. what did she say dictator what she said do you know the definition of a dictator oh yeah okay do you have it yeah. do you know what the definition of a dictator is? and we are studying it for three years now what grade are you she's saying what grade are you i don't know why the hijabi woman is asking the girl what grade is she is and she's, the girl's like she's girl. just uh, the hijabi woman is is just trying to take the conversation anywhere else because she <laughs> does not have any good answers for this yeah, yeah. very intelligent and and well-read individual the the significance of this video is like these people are not used to this right mm -hmm. like when i was in iran um when women like this came after girls you retreat you're scared you you fix your hijab you are terrified you are scared about what's going to happen oh my god they took a picture what's going to happen to me like they're going to come after me right so they're not they're used to the pro regime people are used to being able to intimidate um younger and more liberal kind of people right so the fact that she's under this is a new reality for them where these girls are like standing up 
and they're like coming for you mm. and like and you're how you you're supposed to be on the retreat like this is not normal for this for her you know for these kind incredible. of people honestly yeah. i mean it's 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 a huge shift um in a place where for a very long time people didn't really have a voice at all um again this is this is why i mean i'm i'm happy i'm seeing more and more of this um i just don't know where it i don't know where it's gonna go i don't know what the off-ramp is you know but, yeah oh it's it's fun because this this per this uh this woman filming is is really good with her comeback. <laughs> she's she's got yeah. some snappy ones. <laughs> they have like this is also like I don't know where these uh, women are getting their um, training on a lot of these things mm. because my when I was their age we didn't have this kind of information. Like for example, now they have like really a lot all a lot of them have really good comebacks. Mm -hmm. Like. For example, a lot of people when a lot of these girls, young girls, high school girls, um, they're recording stuff, and the other person is like, "Listen, um, you might not like this law, but it is the law, and you must obey the law. Every country has its own law, and this country's law is that you wear the hijab." And they had their comeback is like, "What about slavery? That was the law, mm -hmm. right?" Is do you think mm -hmm. like? And also another comeback is like, "Wait a minute, you people, pro, you people um, st did a revolution against the Shah." Right, oh. that was illegal. That was the law. Yeah, <laughs> that was that, that was illegal. <laughs> Good <laughs> boy. Like, why are you supposed to follow, like? You're not supposed to follow law, unjust laws. You're mm. your ideology. You taught us that we're supposed to stand up against unju unjust laws. That was the entire point of your revolution of the Islamic Revolution, 1979. So how come when you do it, it's okay, but when we do it, it's not okay? <laughs> yeah. So don't tell me it's the law that we have to follow it, even if we don't like it. Right. That's a that's a tough question to to answer generally when you're in a uh, an, an uh, authoritarian you know kind of regime like yeah but, oh <laughs> exactly. well okay let's see what how, how this continues. I graduated from high school. Like no, you didn't. Like she's <laughs> like telling her she's telling her you're uneducated. <laughs> She likes the girl goes back to her question. Do you know what a dictator is? And hijabi woman is like, no, I don't. You should. <laughs> it's like, and she's saying you should protest like a dictator. Uh, hijabi woman is like, you enlighten me. Like you won't get enlightened. You would have you have would have already um wait, wait, you would have already if you wanted to. Oh, this is an if, yeah. Like you enlighten us. Well I said Sajabi woman said, Well I said I don't know. Like well if you don't know, why are you following us? I live, like I live here, it's like because it's my it's around my house. So, and why are you recording? I was recording my house. She's like, <laughs> she's following girls. I'm recording that it's like my house is there. I'm, I'm recording my house. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> we know that's BS. I'm just walking in. I was um, it was something new, so I recorded. It. <laughs> You don't, like you don't record. No, we are not allowed to record minors, and if we do, it's uh, with permission. Like you're recording me right now, like yeah, but you recorded us, so I'm recording you. Like you're, she's saying you're recording, you're recording me with that permission. And like, well, you recorded us with that permission. <laughs> you know what? You know what's really great is how it doesn't seem to matter ideology or or uh, ethnicity or birthplace when somebody is caught they go through the exact same tactic everywhere it's like no oh, well you you can't record me it's just not fair and it's like well you <laughs> did that already it's like yeah well like i mean i don't know you tell me like what's your problem like you know oh no i, I was just walking around just catch it. the exact same <laughs> excuses does not really? change yeah i mean yeah. that's basically i would expect somebody 
in Tennessee to, to say stuff like <laughs> that. Like, oh, no, I was just recording my house, man. Uh, yeah. Why are you recording me? It's just yeah, it's yeah. great. I love it. I get a as well, Chaw. Man, I'm just a name. I'm a little film. I'm a little film. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.